Okay, what's up, everybody? We are finally doing a video that has been long overdue and people have been waiting on for needs, MBK needs for projects that we have currently going on. A couple that we are waiting to try and start up. And then a couple personal needs of members of our staff here, which we're about, I think there's about eight or nine of us now working on a regular daily basis and most of them work for about 25 bucks a week which is just enough to buy some food for their family so each person have a little bit of personal needs and we're going to throw them out there and if anybody want to try and sew in to a person and their family and bless someone by not setting off that list that would be blessed for our farming projects we're always looking for seeds seeds to plant um, really trying to see if we can get one or two weed whackers. We got a couple really big plots of land. We chop everything by hand with machete. It's a long um, time consuming process. And if we can get a weed whacker or two, even if they're used, um, that would help save a lot of time. And at the same time, a shrub trimmer would be pretty cool. We're starting to try and do a garden and botanical garden and, and park. And there's going to be a lot of ornamental stuff. If we can eventually come across a shrub trimmer, that would be awesome too. And also on that end, if you've ever seen, like in nurseries, they have this black netting that basically blocks out a good portion of the sun but lets some of the sun still pass through it. We're trying to start a nursery for a lot of our starter plants and looking if we can get some of that netted material donated. For the sewing school... Um, we need some funds donated to finish the electrical wiring and hoping soon that a drop ceiling with fans and lights comes our way. School, we had a project plan to go in there and to resurface all the blackboards, but it turns out that they don't use the blackboards now because for a couple different reasons and they use whiteboards and the whiteboards are old and rotten and fall apart. So we need to replace the Formica and plywood for the whiteboards. So if anybody wants to pitch in money towards any of these things, that would be a blessing. Um, always collecting school supplies. And for the prison ministry and for the high schoolers, Bibles. Always collecting Bibles. And obviously prison ministry, hygiene products, any books. Now, I used to hate because people would donate all kinds of English books and I didn't have nothing to do with them because people here don't read English but in the prisons there are quite a few people that speak English so books and stuff and then clothes skateboards skateboards completes or just decks wheels trucks whatever got a growing skate crowd here and uh, just got somebody sending two decks recently so if you got skateboards laying around anywhere you know where you can get some collect them sports volleyball stuff and soccer stuff we got a volleyball project about to go off here and the girls are going to start learning how to play volleyball and yeah basically money we need for buying different things that's always individual needs Jackie and Jamie which are our accountant finances department public relations twins you probably see them in a lot of pictures um, both of their parents passed away within a year just up not too long ago and they're living in a house just a bunch of sisters and uh, so basic needs like food is a big issue for them so always looking for people who would be willing to support or sponsor the people that work for us because we are a group of missionaries some sandals basic hygiene products um, I know that they have a specific charger and battery they need for a laptop they got a good laptop but they got to give me the make and model so we can get that and they can use it Jamie is looking for a sponsor to sponsor her for English classes it wouldn't be a lot of money but she's lived in the States twice and she speaks some English and for public relations that would come in really handy as far as dealing with groups um, tourist groups and mission groups that come down here for it. and she's been begging me for like over a year for that to find her a sponsor that would help her get English classes um basically clap for Alex and his kids everybody got this, some of the same things like shoes and sandals hygiene products um, 
clothes. Uh, we need to build some bunk beds for Alex and his kids. He's got four kids living with him in the greenhouse. Um, so any of these things, if you're interested in supporting a missionary individually, even if it's just 20 bucks a month towards their needs, 25 bucks a month towards their needs, or 50 bucks a month for their family, that would go to food, basic materials like hygiene, sandals and stuff, and um, we can connect you with one. Then you could have, they're, most of, they're all on Facebook, so you can connect with them and communicate with them regularly and support them what we're doing. Everybody's working for God down here, and there's not much pay, but we receive a lot of spiritual blessings and benefit. And all things are possible through Christ. So even living conditions, all of us are believing that God is going to improve each of our lives little by little and to set us apart as an example in this community that God does bless those who serve Him with their life and who give their life to serve Him. All right, so God bless. If you can take care of any of those things on that list, if you can, maybe you got a, a weed whacker laying around that you don't use, or you know somebody who got some of that netting for the um, nursery, or if you just say, hey, you know what, I'm ready to make a commitment in my life and to be a little bit sacrificial, and I'll, I'll be down to donate 30 bucks a month, a dollar a day towards a missionary, and help them with some of their basic needs. Contact us and let us know. God bless you.